I've had enough of Grant Cardone. I'm not learning from Uncle G anymore. Grant, was it worth the 3,000 views that you got in the first 30 minutes from releasing today's video? What does that tell you about a person's character? Is that someone that you wanna actually learn from? Furthermore, even do business with? You can call it fake news or you can call it what it is. Lying. On the rumors of my bankruptcy that is soon to happen. Yes, it's true. And that's what I did yesterday. And a bunch of you fools went for it. I can't believe how many of you out there went for it, okay? So last week, I heard a ton of people saying that Grant Cardone, real estate investing mogul, best-selling author, and sales coach was going bankrupt. But I ignored it because I figured that it was just a bunch of rumors and Cardone haters. But then I saw this video I've released by Chris Cardone, I'm not learning his reaction to anymore. it, and I thought it was something that I should look into and share with you guys. Turns out that after the downturn, Cardone had to let go of several of his employees, has stopped distributions from Cardone Capital for three months, and then last week announced that he was going bankrupt, just to be followed the next day by another announcement that it was simply a publicity stunt. Well, then immediately after Chris Crone released his reaction video disapproving of Grant Cardone's publicity stunt. So let's take a look. And let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Do you agree with Chris Crone? Do you feel that Grant Cardone has crossed the line and that this publicity stunt was doing too much? Or do you agree with Grant Cardone that this was a good publicity stunt to help him get his business going on track again during this downturn? Let me know what you think below. And do me a favor, hit the like button. And do me a favor, if you'd like to see more videos about real estate investing and finances, hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that way every time I upload videos, you can be notified. And link in the description below for two free stocks when you download the Weeble app. Let's take a look at these videos. On the rumors of my bankruptcy that is soon to happen. Yes, it's true. I'm losing the plane, the condo, all the apartments, 8,000 units. Okay, all of it's going back to the bank. Uh, the Gulfstream, 2017 Gulfstream 550, brand new. It's about 50 million. You could probably pick that thing up today for seven or eight million bucks. Uh, my condo down the street, you could probably pick that up for two or three million bucks today. If you know a good bankruptcy lawyer that can protect me from going to prison, send me, send me a link. In the past day or so, Grant Cardone goes live with this video on Instagram and then decides to pull it yet other people had actually recorded the video and it started getting syndicated and it went viral. And basically what this video does is it's Grant by his own omission essentially saying, I'm going down but I'm still gonna be the talk of the town, I'm losing my apartments, I'm losing my $50 million jet. And that's what I did yesterday. And a bunch of you fools went for it. I can't believe how many of you out there went for it, okay? You gotta drop bad news to get anybody to pay attention to you. Remember what Kevin Hart told me as he sat on stage with me. He said, Grant, bad news travels faster than good news. People pass it on. Doesn't matter how much good you do in the world. If you want to get people to talk about you, Grant Cardone goes off the rails yesterday with the video that he himself put out saying, bankrupt, losing everything, I need a lawyer, I'm going to jail, you can probably get all of my apartment units at 10 cents on the dollar, and then comes out today and says, just kidding, I was just doing that for publicity. Yeah, like Bottom line is, when I watched this, seriously, it was like a heart-stopping moment because Grant is, for many people, like a financial teacher, he's an educator. He himself says he has 100,000 people part of Cardone University, and to come out with a video like that, um, you know, was really like gut-wrenching. I actually felt really bad for him. He was actually trolling himself to drum up fake news to prove a point that right now, bad media and bad news travels faster than good news. And what did he want to do? He wanted to hijack the media. He wanted to hijack your emotions and your feelings. But I'm looking at this and I'm kind of concerned because in the last month, some bad things have happened with Cardone and Cardone Capital. And then of course we have things like this. And now you have to ask yourself what's true and what's false. Check this out. Here's a tweet from one of Grant's employees. It says, on Friday, Cardone fired 80 of 180 of his employees at Cardone Capital without notice and without benefits, as little as legally obligated, and gave them a letter from his lawyer saying that if they contest, they can try and go to court, but they won't be able to, because guess what? The courts are closed. This is from the Scientology Money Project. Cardone arrogantly bragged in a video the other day that the courts aren't open, so no one is going to sue anybody. What does that tell you about a person's character? Is that someone that you want to actually learn from? Furthermore, even do business with? 
This one says Grant Cardone admits to bankruptcy in a video clip. Stay tuned. Grant Cardone has been erratic for the last 45 days and has exhibited bizarre mood swings ranging from mania to serious freakishness. And then this literally just came out. Scientologist Grant Cardone admits to walking over the backs of 140,000 pandemic dead to get himself noticed. So here are the facts that we do know. He has in fact laid people off. We also know that Grant recently admitted in this video clip that we are suspending distributions to our investors for April, May, and June. That all of his guaranteed payouts to all of his investors are being put on pause for April, May, and June. So basically, changing the game. Now, when you're an influencer and you're trying to create confidence and all of a sudden you're firing people and you're stopping payment, what's the last thing you might want to consider doing? I don't know, coming out with a video, releasing all sorts of fake news, and then coming out the next day and saying, I can't believe you guys went for that. That tells me who my real friends are and or not. And basically goes on to say that this is how you be successful in business. This is how you be successful in marketing. For me, I look at it and I'm like, so you're telling me that I should tell lies. You're telling me that I should actually intentionally lie to the public and then come out later and say, just kidding, but now that I have all your eyeballs on me. Grant, was it worth the 3,000 views that you got in the first 30 minutes from releasing today's video? So here's the problem. You can call it fake news or you can call it what it is. Lying. What person uses a tactic like that just so they can win more in the game of marketing and business? That is someone that I used to respect, and I gotta be honest, you have lost that respect. I went through the gut-wrenching ordeal of actually watching that video and then finding out that it was just a game. Do not play games with me. By the way, don't play games with your investors and saying something is guaranteed and then doing stop payment and then making jokes about it. Furthermore, firing people and then threatening them that they shouldn't sue you for reasons of X, Y, and Z. Guys, at the end of the day, when you get into crisis mode, people reveal their character, they reveal their nature, they reveal who they really are. And I'm just telling you from what I've seen in the last 45 days, I've had enough of Grant Cardone. I'm not learning from Uncle G anymore because I'm not gonna take the good with the bad. I wanna follow a mentor or somebody that can play it honest. In fact, if we don't have our integrity, what do we actually have? When I follow a mentor, when I wanna learn and grow from someone, I wanna know that whether they're right or wrong in business, that in the least, I respect who they are as a person. I respect that you can lay off 80 people. That may have been the intelligent thing to do. I can also respect that you may have to change your investment games and actually put stop payment for a couple of months to preserve the asset. That also might be the right choice. Tugging on heartstrings and lying intentionally just to get eyeballs, you've lost me there and you've lost my respect. Guys, we have lost 10 years of jobs in just the last three weeks. 22 million Americans are now out of work. The reality is that suffering is at an all-time high. In fact, we're more than halfway towards what unemployment was at the Great Depression. And the last thing that we need is someone hijacking the news and lying just so that they can be a genius marketer. Marketing madness, genius. Will feel significant. I'm gonna tell you right now where I actually disagree with Grant Cardone when he's quoting Kevin Hart, who I've met. He's a really great man. And when he quotes Kevin, he says, well, Kevin himself said that bad news travels worse than good news. Yeah, but is that the reputation that you wanna build yourself on? I mean, right now, what we need is positivity. What we need is good news. What we need is actual help. What we need is actually help us get jobs, help us find money-making opportunities. Don't pull on people's heartstrings and don't lie to them. On the rumors of my bankruptcy that is soon to happen, yes, it's true. I'm losing the plane, the condo, all the apartments, 8,000 units, okay? All of it's going back to the bank. Uh, the Gulfstream, 2017 Gulfstream 550, brand new, it's about 50 million. You could probably pick that thing up today for seven or eight million bucks. Uh, my condo down the street, the price is set up for two or three million bucks. If you know a good bankruptcy lawyer that can protect me from going to prison, send me, send me a link. And that's what I did yesterday. And a bunch of you fools went for it. I can't believe how many of you out there went for it, okay?